welcome viewers if still you're not subscribed to this channel kindly subscribe and also click the bell icon to get technology updates regularly on this JP Infotech channel hi in this video we are going to see about a python project which is entitled as pneumonia detection using deep learning which is an IEEE 2022 conference paper so before seeing the execution of the project let me brief about this project pneumonia is a fatal disease that affects the human respiratory system basically this kind of fatal disease will down the immune system of the human and so they will be affected by the disease again and again due to the virus or the bacteria as this pneumonia is concerned to the lungs so they have difficulty in the breathing and also causes pain so it may be severe and if not treated earlier this may cause to death also so the detection of pneumonia is needed as soon as possible so here the scientific way of approaching the pneumonia detection is using the deep learning model so here in this paper the author have made a self-learning model using the multiple digital x-rays of the chest to detect the pneumonia patients so here the authors have used the ResNet but we are not going to use the same as mentioned in the base paper we are going to use our proposed model as VGG16 architecture as our contribution to this pneumonia detection using deep learning and the training accuracy that we have achieved is 95.34 percentage and the validation accuracy that we have achieved is 92 percentage coming to the data set so here in the data set part it consists around 5686 images so the data set consists of both the test and the train set so here in the train set which consists around 5232 images and uh, in that you can see 1349 as normal lungs images and 3883 images of pneumonia lungs in the training set and in the test set total consists of 624 images where 234 images for the normal lungs and 390 images of pneumonia lungs in the test set and this is the flow of the projects and before executing make sure that you have fulfilled the requirement that is mentioned in the requirements file as prescribed version of the python the libraries of installed in it so now we have go to the execution part of the project and before that I'll show you the data set part so in the model you can see this uh, test and train folder in the train part you can see the normal images of the just x-ray images so these are all the images that is available for the training part so as mentioned there are around 1349 normal and the pneumonia images around 3883 images available so these are the images that you are going to train up and in the test part again the normal images consist around 234 images and in the pneumonia part we have around 390 so these are the data set part now you can copy the source code location go to your command prompt and now go to the source code location type python app.py and click enter and kindly wait for few minutes so now you can see this URL just copy this URL go to any of your browser I'm going to Firefox and paste the URL and click enter so now you can see the home screen I will come to the project with the project title pneumonia detection using deep learning so just click this login menu now it will be navigated to the login page where you can see the username and password and kindly note that this is a static login page because we have not used any database in the project so just enter the 
username as password as default as admin and admin and then click this login button and once the login is successful you can see this login success message and click ok and now it will be navigated to the preview part of the page where you need to enter the test images to predict the result of this pneumonia detected or not so just click this browse button and go to your project source code location where you can find the test folder you can just check with the images that is available and now let me click the submit after selecting the image and once after that you can see the preview image that we have uploaded and you can see the prediction result is pneumonia lungs and let me go to the preview menu again to check with the other case let click, click, click the browse button and go to the normal one and let me select an image and then click submit and now you can see the image that we have selected and also the prediction result is normal lengths so now this time let me click the preview menu again let me go to the now i'm not going to test with the test folder so now let me go to the data set that we have trained up so the here in the training data set let me select a random one so there are around 3000 images that i have integrated earlier so let me select a random one and then click submit and now you can see the prediction result is pneumonia lungs so let me go to the preview menu again and let me select the browse let me go to this time a normal case and let me select a random one anything like this and then click submit and now you can see the prediction result is normal lungs so in this way you can check with the other cases from the data set that you are trained up with or for the test case folder that from the trained data set also now let me move to the next part of the project is performance analysis so in the performance analysis we will be seeing the performance analysis parameter like accuracy precision recall and f measure value so accuracy of 92 percentage precision 90 and recall 92 and f measure is 92 percentage and here we can see the next performance analysis parameter is confusion matrix so confusion matrix with the normal lens and the pneumonia lens with the true and the predicted label of it and final comes the chart part so just click this chart menu it will be navigated to the chart part and kindly note that this is a static chart as intimated earlier we are not used in database in the project so we cannot show any modified uh, charts in it so just we have depicted the chart from the data set that you are trained up with so this data set consists around 67 per 67.7 percentage of normal lengths and 33.3 .3 of pneumonia length that has been depicted in the chart part of it and let me log out and this is all about the project pneumonia detection using deep learning and thank you for watching